There are just some photos that you take that you find are really missing in perspective. The perspective is really off. And that usually happens with wide angle lenses, such as the image that I have in front of me here. You'll see some lines are really bulging and it seems like the house is just trying to stay away from where I am. This is really often the case with these indoor photos or photos of houses. And that's the lines get all screwed up, especially with lenses that are a bit cheaper than the really, really, really expensive Pro ones. So with CS5, they've actually added some additional lens correction features that makes it easier for you to correct this perspective. So I want to go under filter then come down to lens correction right away. And if you haven't launched lens correction in Photoshop CS5, if you're just upgraded, it's gonna take a while to rebuild what they call the profiles, right? So here up comes the huge lens correction dialog box here. And I'm gonna say fit and view here for the image. And by default now it has this auto correction panel here where it says it's gonna correct the geometric distortion I can turn that on and off. You, you'll, here you'll see a difference. So this is before the geometric distortion correction, and this is after. So it's done a fair job. It's it's certainly done something. Then it can also correct chromatic aberration as well as vignettes. So it detected some slight vignettes, and it's trying to correct that if I check that in. It's also auto scaling the images here. But what's really important here is the search criteria. And they've, they've detected here that I'm using a camera, which is a Nikon. I used a Nikon D50 for this. So it hasn't got old profiles. So Nikon D50 might be a bit out of the loop. But it's detected that I'm using a Nikon camera with the Sigma 10 to 20 f4 to 5.6 EXDC HSM camera, or lens rather. And you can show these profiles in Finder or browse the lens profile creator online. Or if it didn't show up with the correct one, you can always go to Camera Make here, find your own. So let's say Nikon Corporation, I choose a camera, let's choose a D90. That's fairly close and you can see how this affects it. I think this does a very good job. And then you can select which lens, of course. So I'm gonna do a lens that's similar and that didn't have any matching. So there's no 10 to 20 millimeter lens here. So what I ended up doing is going in, finding a Sigma lens here. And yes, I know it's gonna go up with a fisheye first, but then I find this lens here. And you see the difference. It's kind of extreme difference in this case. And it, it does it almost over the top for this line here. But the rest of the room does get a nice correction. What I worry about sometimes though is how blur it gets, but I think it gets a very good job done when it comes to correcting the distortion in the geometric shapes. If you look at the table, if you look at the sides here and in the middle, you'll see it does a very good job in correcting this. There is a before, really good difference here. Before, so now that you can do the lens correction, you'll get this extreme difference in corrected images.